Hello friends, now we continue the paper. So, let us have question 4. It says like this. A. Find the matrix multiplication A B of a matrix A equal to nine five two one eight five three one six and B equal to three two one four 5, 3 of 4 marks. Now see here A is how many rows? Row 1, row 2, row 3. So 3 by here row 1, row column 1, column 2, column 3. So, 3 by 3 matrix and B is row 1, row 2, row 3, 3 and column 1, column 2. So, 3 by 2 matrix. Okay. Now, we know that if the columns of A is equal to rows of B, columns of A, number of columns of A equal to number of rows of B, both are 3 here, okay. So, therefore, product AB is possible and the order of AB is 3 here and 2 here, possible and is of order 3 by 2. Now let us make the product. So AB 9, 5, 2, 1, 8, 5, 3, 1, 6 and B 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, 3. We know this is the way we can make the product. Okay. So let us uh, write the first element. First element is called A11 here. So first row of A and first column of B. Okay. So corresponding element. Uh, multiply and then add. So, this is 9 into 3. So, 27. Then 5 into 1. So, plus 5. Then 2 into 5. So, plus 10. So, that A11 is complete. Now, you want A12. So, first row, second column, okay. So, first row, 9, second column into 2, that means 18, 9 multiplied 2, it is 18, then 5 multiply 4, so that is 20, then 2 multiply 3, so that is 6. Next, this entry, that means A, 2, 1. So, row 2, column 1. So, 1 multiply 3, so that is 3. 8 multiply 1. 
so plus 8 5 multiply 5 so that is 25 same way this entry a 2 2 so second row second column so 1 multiply 2 2 8 multiply 4 so 32 5 multiply 3 so 15 okay next this entry that means 3 1 so third row first column so 3 multiply 3 9 1 multiply 1 so plus 1 6 multiply 5 so plus 30 same way this one that means 3 2 so 3 row column 2 so 3 multiply 2 6 1 multiply 4 4 plus 6 multiply 3 so 18 so this is equal to now add all these things 7, 27 plus 5 plus 10 so it is 42 18 plus 20 plus 6 so it is 44 then 3 plus 8 plus 11 plus 25 so 36 then 2 plus 32 34 plus 15 49 9 plus 1 10 plus 30 40 6 plus 4 10 plus 18 28 so this is your answer next next is if magnitude of a root 5 magnitude of b 3 then a dot b equal to root 15 and angle between vectors a and b is theta then find cos theta okay that is also four marks so this is very easy formula direct apply cos theta equal to a dot b upon magnitude a magnitude b now a dot b is given root 15 magnitude a root 5 magnitude b is 3 so root 15 is you can write root 5 into root 3 divided by root 5 into 3 so this root 5 root 5 cancel root 3 by 3 so root 3 by 3 so root 3 also cancel so it is root 3 because 3 can be written as root 3 multiply root 3. so answer is cos theta equal to 1 by root 3 next or question B find the using matrix to solve the linear system two x plus five y equal to one and 3x plus 2y equal to 7 
okay now see <coughs> this is again easy we can convert into matrix notation this given system how to convert so we can write as a x equal to b where what is a 2 5 this 2 5 then 3 2 x is x y and b is 1 7 now we want to solve means we need to find out this so how to solve we can write this way x is equal to a inverse multiply b x equal to a inverse multiply b okay so we need to find a inverse now so a is this matrix so first find determinant a so what is determinant a 2 multiply 2 is 2 multiply 2 so that is 4 minus 3 multiply 5 so 15 so minus 11 so inverse is possible because determinant a is not equal to 0 now 2 by 2 matrix is there you know if a equal to a b c d then for 2 by 2 matrix adjoint a is d a these two interchange and these two sign change with minus b minus c so now what is a inverse formula is 1 upon determinant a adjoint a. so a inverse is 1 upon minus 11 now what is adjoint so this 2 and 2 interchange this 2 and 2 interchange so that is 2 2 and this pi and 3 sign change so minus 5 minus 3 so this is a inverse and now what is the for answer x equal to a inverse b so x is equal to that means x y equal to a inverse b so a inverse is minus 1 by 11 2 minus 5 minus 3 2 and what is b b is 1 7 this is b 1 7 now let us multiply again two matrices minus 1 by 11 this is 2 by 2 matrix this is 2 by 1 matrix so remaining matrix is 2 by 1 matrix so now this entry first row first column so 2 into 1 so that is 2 then minus pi into 7 so minus 35 now here second row first entry minus 3 into 1 minus 3 2 into 7 plus 14 so that is minus 1 by 11 minus 33 and 11 so you can simplify this this is 11 3 is 33 so this is 3 11 1 is 11 so this is minus 1 so this is x y equal to 3 minus 1 so therefore x is equal to 3 y equal to minus 1 so this is a solution by using matrix next example next question question 5 so let us take question 5 a prove that 10 pi pi by 4 
into cot 9 pi by 4 plus 10 17 pi by 4 into cot 15 pi by 4 equal to 0 for mark question that is also so now let us uh, solve this 10 pi pi by 4 cot 9 pi by 4 plus 10 17 pi by 4 cot 15 pi by 4 now let us simplify 10 pi by 4 so you have you can write 4 ones are 4 and 1 so that is pi so that is pi plus pi by 4 cot 9 by 4 so 4 to the 8 and 1 so this is 2 pi plus pi by 4 plus 10 17 by 4 so 4 4 are 16 and 1 so 4 pi plus pi by 4 and this is cot 15 by 4 so 4 4 are 16 and minus 1 so this is 4 pi minus pi by 4 now see this is all s t t this is 0 pi so see pi plus pi by 4 so this is in third quadrant and third quadrant 10 positive so we write 10 pi by 4 now cot 2 pi plus pi by 4 so this is 2 pi here so 2 pi plus pi by 4 so first quadrant so this is a third quadrant this is first quadrant first quadrant also all positive so you write cot pi by 4 then plus 10 4 pi plus pi by 4 so this is also 4 pi so 4 pi plus pi by 4 also first quadrant so that is nothing but 10 pi by 4 and cot 4 pi minus so 4 pi minus is fourth quadrant here so this is fourth quadrant and fourth quadrant cot negative because cos only positive and sec positive so cot negative so we write minus cot pi by 4 now 10 pi by 4 or cot pi by 4 that value is 1 so this is 1 and 1 this is 1 and minus 1 so this is 1 minus 1 so equal to 0 next for the vectors a equal to 2i cap minus j cap plus 3k cap and b equal to pi i cap minus j cap plus k cap find unit vector that means a comes to this in the direction of a bar plus b bar okay so now let us uh, find out that vector in the direction of a bar plus b bar okay so now we write a bar plus b bar so phi i cap minus j cap plus k cap 
then plus 2i cap minus j cap plus 3 cap and so this is equal to 5 plus 2 i cap then plus minus 1 minus 1 j cap plus 1 plus 3 k cap 3 and 1 here so we have 7 i cap minus 2 j cap plus 4 k cap so this is a bar plus b bar we want its magnitude also now what is the formula magnitude very easy it is now root of 7 square plus minus 2 square plus 4 square so this is 49 plus 4 plus 16 okay and so is equal to uh, 69 okay now we want unit vector so unit vector in the direction of a bar plus b bar is uh, a bar plus b bar divided by magnitude a bar plus b bar so 7 i cap minus 2 j cap plus 4 k cap divided by root 69 that is your answer now or if sin a equal to 3 by 5 cos b equal to 5 by 13 and 0 a comma b is less than pi by 2 this meaning first quadrant then find sin of a minus b okay now see here what you are given sin a so suppose this is angle a sin a is 3 by 5 so opposite side over hypotenuse and we know that 3 4 5 pythagorean triplet so this is 4 3 4 5 pythagorean triplet then cos b is 5 by 13 so adjacent side over hypotenuse pass any baju pagya karan and we know that 5 12 13 is a pythagorean triplet so this is 12 you can also find by using pythagoras theorem so sin a 3 by 5 so what is cos a cos a is 4 by 5 sin b 12 by 13 cos b 5 by 13 now you want sin of a minus b so formula standard sin a cos b minus cos a sin b remember this formula now sin a 3 by 5 cos b 5 by 13 minus cos a 4 by 5 sin b 12 by 13 so this is equal to 13 5 65 5 3 is a 15 minus 12 4 is a 48 and 65 so this is a 15 minus 48 upon 65 so this is minus 33 divided by 65 that is the answer okay 
we stop and question six will have in next video. Now let us solve question six. Question six A. If sin x equal to three by five x lies in the second quadrant. Bija Charanma. Then find the value of other five functions, other five trigonometric function. Okay. Now see, sin x is three by five. So let us see. This is angle x sin x is 3 by 5 so opposite side same baju divide by hypotenuse like karna like this and we know 3 4 5 pythagorean triplet so this side is 4 you can also find by using pythagoras theorem now x lies in second quadrant so second quadrant this is first quadrant second quadrant second quadrant sine positive and so cosec also positive second quadrant cosine negative all other negative okay sec negative 10 negative quad also negative so cosine negative so this side we give negative sign because of second quadrant so this you need to understand now we can find all other trigonometric values like cosine x minus 4 by 5 sec x it is 1 upon cosine x it is minus 5 by 4 sin x already given 3 by 5 so cosec x 1 upon sin x so that means 5 by 3 10 x sin x by cos x or you can say opposite side over adjacent side so minus 3 by 4 and cot x 1 upon 10 x so it is minus 4 by 3 so this way this is simple example b First, say if complex number Z1 is equal to 4x plus i 3 minus y Z2 equal to 3 minus 6i are equal then find x and y so this is easy again <coughs> so z1 equal to z2 so therefore 4x 
plus i 3 minus y equal to 3 minus 6i. We can write this as 3 plus i into minus 6. Now <coughs> compare the real and imaginary part. So So this 4x is equal to 3. So 4x is equal to 3. And this 3 minus y equal to minus 6. So now this is a Therefore, x equal to 3 by 4, take minus 6 on this side, minus on another side. So, 3 plus 6 equal to y and therefore y equal to 9. Second, if Z1 equal to 2 plus 3i and Z2 equal to 5 minus 4i then find Z1 multiply Z2 2 marks. So now this is also very easy z1 multiply z2 so 2 plus 3i multiply 5 minus 4i is equal to 2 multiply 5 so that is 10 2 multiply minus 4i so that is minus 8i 3i multiply 5 so plus 15i and 3i multiply minus 4i, so minus 12i square. But we know i square is minus 1. So this is 10. Now minus 8i plus 15i, so plus 7i minus 12 and i square is minus 1. So this is plus 12, so 12 plus 10, 22 plus 7i, so that is the answer or <coughs> express phi plus root 2 i over 1 minus root 2 i in the form a plus i b. So, phi plus root 2 i divided by 1 minus root 2 i is equal to phi plus root 2 i over 1 minus root 2 i now multiply and divide the conjugate of 1 minus root 2 i so that is 1 plus root 2 i over 1 plus root 2 i now a minus i b a plus i b equal to a square plus b square because i square is minus 1. So we have phi plus root 2 i multiply 1 plus root 2 i 
divided by a square 1 square plus b square root 2 square so that is 3 this is root 2 square is 2 1 square is 1 so that is 3 so this is 1 by 3 now 5 multiply 1 so that is 5 5 multiply root 2 i so 5 root 2 i now root 2 i multiply 1 so plus root 2 i and root 2 i multiply root 2 i so this is root 2 square i square so this is 1 by 3 pi this is 5 times root 2 plus 1 time root 2 so 6 root 2 i this is root 2 square is 2 and i square is minus 1 so this is now become 2 so 1 by 3 this is 5 plus 2 7 plus 6 root 2 i and so this is equal to 7 by 3 plus 3 to the 6 so 2 root 2 i so which is in the form a plus b i form okay so this way your paper is completed thank you